Custom ROM on the OnePlus 8 Pro? Check. Usual ROMing issues? Check. This is my review for day one of using Lineage OS 18.1 on the OnePlus 8 Pro. A G N. It's headphones nailed! here back with a slightly different episode in that a couple days ago it was announced or actually notably on April 1st it was announced that Lineage OS the popular um, Android ROM developers would be releasing um, version 18.1 of their ROM for a number of devices so I yeah, usually moderately keep track of those kinds of things these days just because I'm not used I don't generally do that sort of stuff as much as I used to like with my um, Samsung Captivate, my Amazon Fire Phone and stuff like that where I wanted to have a stock Android experience mostly because the OnePlus series does a pretty good job but I've always had that issue in the back of my mind with the or recently had it in the back of my mind with the Android 11 update for the OnePlus 8 Pro just because granted it was Android 11 but um, OnePlus started skin, skinning a lot of stuff and then the device came with um, a bunch of Facebook stuff pre-installed so it was in the back of my mind that at some point I'd want to install a custom ROM on it but it was always kind of a difficult process to get through and then I think with Android 10 I was generally okay with um, the OnePlus skin because it was still pretty stock Android so I didn't really have to do it but with their redesign on Android 11 I was like okay at some point I will want to do it Installing a custom launcher kind of fixes it, but even then, that only solves part of the problem. So with this announcement, I decided to read the article, see which devices were added, were on the list, and uh, lo and behold, the OnePlus 8 Pro was on there. So I was like, oh sweet, we get the unofficial, or we get the official Lineage OS ROM for the OnePlus 8 Pro. So reading the instructions, it was actually pretty straightforward as far as. Um, Installing the ROM, that's for basically the usual instructions, you know, unlocking your bootloader that's going to wipe your device. Everything's backed up already on my end, so I was okay with that. Um, and then installing the custom recovery, um, I was going to go with the usual TouchWiz recovery port, but I didn't see a stable ver enough version. I think there is a version available, but um, I guess there was still or they're still having issues or the full Android 11 support is still not available. I wasn't sure so I didn't want to go that route but Lineage OS does have their own recovery available so like, okay well I'll give that a shot. So install the Lineage OS recovery. Um, there's an extra step of copying a partition or copying partition information because of the AB updater that Android now uses so um, I had to make sure I did that. Um, so once all of that prerequisite stuff was done, I was able to install the ROM. Um, I had issues initially with ins with setting up, um, I think I tried OpenG apps first and that didn't work. So reading around or browsing the internet, I found that Mind the G apps was a better package for getting it set up. So I switched over to that. Um, at this point, I now forget because I was doing a lot of command line stuff that if I used ADB sideload or ADB push, but one of those got it set up. So I did a f uh, full, or, and I tried, or I installed mine the G apps after um, the first boot of Lineage OS, and I was able to sort of get it the installation set up, but I was having a few permission issues. So I did a f uh, factory reset, and that started with the full Google installation process. So that all, so the set from basically from there, once I got Lineage OS set up and uh, mind the G app setup, everything ran smoothly from there. Um, I did also install the magic module because going into it, I know that um, some apps like Google Pay, Netflix, and maybe potentially others would have an issue as far as getting installed. So I did um, install Magis. Magis. Um, so for, that's a thing point I'll get to in a little bit. But overall, the installation was pretty smooth. I was able to uh, sign in with Google, get my um, apps and backups restored. Um, that all went very smoothly. Didn't have any issues with that. Um, I was able to restore safe passwords for the apps that didn't um, log me in automatically. So that was a pretty seamless process. 
Um, so the only apps that I had trouble setting up um, to start were Google Pay, so it had trouble connecting to the bank. Um, being day one, I haven't actually had a chance to use um, NFC payments as of yet, so I'm 95% sure that it's not going to work. So at some point I'll give it a shot, but I'll still make sure I take my credit card in case I do have to buy something. Um, and then the other two apps that didn't work were, or didn't install to begin with were Netflix and Disney Plus. So searching Google Play, it they didn't show up. So I know that uh, the Magis module didn't help. Um, I tried a few of the settings to see if um, I could get Magis Hide to work, or um, changing the name, reinstalling the module in the by the bootloader, and all of that. But none of that seems to work. So for those apps, I did have to sideload them. And from there, I was able to sign in. I tried, and so from there, for Netflix is the only issue that I tested so far. I've had this issue, but Netflix doesn't seem to want to connect to my Chromecast, so I can't actually watch Netflix shows or movies on my TV at the moment. Um, I assume that Disney Plus is going to have the same issue, but I haven't tested that yet, so I'll, over the coming days, I'll probably give that a shot. I was able to cast um, YouTube and um cast my screen so i know that my phone is able to connect to it so i think because i side loaded netflix that's why that didn't work um so going into it that are that's my day one issues and pros of lineage os for the as far as the installation goes um as far as performance overall performance is very good it's very smooth and very snappy and fast the boot time is good performance overall as far as opening apps switching between various apps and things like that are very good so I can't complain too much just yet but like I said it's only been about a day since I've been using it so um, we'll see how it goes over the coming weeks uh, to see if it continues to perform that well um, as far as I know or as far as I could tell um, the ROM is gonna have weekly updates so if there's any bug fixes or updates or anything like that I won't know until next week if anything or what gets fixed or anything like that so I think I'm going to have to poke around to see if I can find if the change log website is still available. I assume it is, but because I haven't looked at it in a long time, I don't know if it is. So I'll give that a shot to see, or check that out to see if um, that's going to have any indications on updates and things like that. And I assume that because I'm using the Lineage OS recovery, that's why Magisk is not working like it should to hide itself and root from my the android system and that's kind of why it's unable to or i'm unable to install netflix and disney plus from the google play store um so i'm going to periodically check to see um once touch was recovery port or D TW RP um gets the android 11 update and um once i can replace the recovery it seems like a pretty straightforward process as far as replacing lineage os's recovery with TWRP. so I'll probably give that a shot, see if that fixes the uh, Magis is issues that I had, so um, there is that. Uh, so for now, I might uninstall it, but I haven't decided yet. I might just leave it there just because if it fixes the Google Pay issue, then um, there's no need to uninstall it for now. So that's all there is for this particular review. So overall, I want to say it's um, a very good start for the ROM on the official side of things. I know that there was an unofficial version other ROM for some time um, so there's a lot of behind the scenes development that went on and that I didn't participate in this time around because I think there was um, it was a very manual process so I, I you know I had, to, I had to download the zip and unpack it and do a lot of stuff manually so I didn't really want to go that route this time around but my impressions this time as far as installing the official lineage OS were that it was very simple and straightforward. The usual issues that I anticipated going into it happened. Um, I kind of anticipated that lineage OS would have an issue as far as hiding root with Magisk. So I, I knew that going in and I figured there would be an issue with the root. So, and of course there sure was. So I know that um, using this ROM is going to have a couple of setbacks because I don't use Google or I do use Google Pay but I don't use it in every single place it's kind of okay with me that I don't have it available but I know that if there's someone who does use it um, regularly it's going to be an issue with installing this ROM and not having 
uh, Google Pay available. Um, the one thing that I will say does work in my initial test, or the one test that I did run, is using Google Lens as a QR code scanner. So um, as of this recording, um, last night I went to dinner and they have contact less payments so you have to scan a QR code to load a website to view your receipt set up the tip and pay your bill with a credit card and the whole process worked fine or it actually worked better it worked better than fine it worked really smoothly so um, I scanned the barcode with Google Lens that worked perfectly I loaded the web or showed the link so I touched the link the receipt showed up I was able to set the tip um, plug in or autofill the credit card so that worked fine and then hit pay um, it asked for the email address for the receipt, plugged that in, and um, the, sure enough, the receipt came in um, after a few minutes. So all in all, a very smooth process on that front. So if you do eat dinner or eat dinner out now and you have a lot of places that have contactless payments like that where you have to scan a QR code, then it seems like it works fine. So the Google autofill service does seem to be working okay in this case. So this is kind of a workaround where you're not using Google Pay, but you're using your credit card information to scan or scan a QR code to pay by credit card and you're using your stored credit card information, then it seems to work fine in this case. So um, one of those side benefits that I was not anticipating, but did work out uh, nicely. So um, a good plus there. So overall, as far as initial impressions, I want to give the give it about a grade of a 90%. Um, just because for the most part everything seems to be working um, I'm recording the podcast the same way and editing and stuff like that um, the only actually the one thing that I do still have to test a little bit more is the camera uh, camera app um, I use the default one it seems okay I do prefer or I, I for some reason the other day I was thinking about open camera and a better camera it seems like development has stopped on a better camera so I'm trying out open camera to see um, how that works. Uh, I took a couple of pictures and they look okay. Um, so at some point I'll try, try and take regular pictures or just pictures like I normally would to see how they stand out. But it's nice or it's interesting to have to use a, a camera app with um, exposure settings that are available, um, HDR settings versus regular drill mode and all of that stuff. So um, it's that sort of testing and or now basically since all the the bulk of the stuff on the ROM is set up. Now it's going to be into the um, weeds to test all the details and minor stuff and side stuff that doesn't really impact the initial setup. So I can say that the camera app does work. So it's just a matter of playing with different camera apps to see about getting the best possible um, performance and pictures. So that's all there is for this particular review. So. Probably, I'll, just like uh, Linux, my Linux review and the Star Wars The Old Republic reviews, I will probably check, come back around in a couple of months and give an update on what I think of the ROM, see if there's any changes, see if, if there were any fixes or updates or anything like that. If um, I was able to get Netflix and Disney Plus working um, by installing them using the Google Play Store, then I'll give an update on stuff like that. So just general updates and impressions and stuff like that. And it is kind of early to tell, but I might do all three reviews all at once, just kind of like a progress update on the three items. Um, but that's still a couple of months away, and this, is, this was kind of an impromptu review. Um, I wasn't really anticipating installing Lineage OS on my phone, um, but since the process seems straightforward, and it happened to be over a weekend, it was uh, pretty minimal as far as the impact of doing it so I figured okay well at least if anything goes wrong or if I'm unable to get it working it's um, there's still time to restore and go back to stock Android or stock one the stock one plus ROM and um, restore all my settings that way and continue using that um, or going back to the stock ROM and using that and waiting a little while to try again later so um, that's all there is for this particular review. So if you have any questions, comments, feedback, or anything like that, you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. The website is headphonesneal.reviews for um, quick links to the podcast, blog, photography posts, uh, supporting the show, um, so how to subscribe to the show, and all of that good stuff. And of course, you can get 
um, bonus content, early access to upcoming content, and all of that good stuff by visiting the Patreon at patreon.com slash patelln01. But that's all there is for this particular review and initial impressions um, episode. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time.